you here with Whole Shot Magazine and Burn the Texas Motocross Chronicles doing the announcing out here for the third annual Race for Cancer Research. Also this year it's the Lynn Nickerson Memorial. We have Lynn Nickerson Jr. with us up here. Lynn Nickerson Jr., first off, we lost your father back in May, a few months back, and uh, all these people have showed up for many years to support the, the cancer the, the research to solve cancer, cure cancer, and your father has failed victims of cancer, and your father a huge motorsports announcer, not only in motocross, but in motorsports, car racing, drag racing, thousands, hundreds of thousands of fans. What is it like for you to come out here to River Valley and see all these motocross racers and families support their time and their de dedication and money in name of your father? Well, um, obviously it's um, beyond touching, for sure. Um, and like I said earlier, you know, cancer, uh, it can hit home with anyone. There's so many people affected by it, either directly or indirectly. You know somebody, somebody's in your family. It's everywhere. So the need to get out, come together, especially under, you know, the guys of motocross, uh, it's just amazing. But to get together and, and, and the benefit to, you know, bring bring money to the Cancer Foundation and, and, and get more research going so that we can figure out a way to, to stop this and save our, save our loved ones so maybe they don't have to suffer so long, that's, that's an amazing thing. Your father battled it a couple of times. He beat cancer three times. He beat cancer, he came back, started announcing, got sick again, came back. Started announcing, got sick again, and then the third time was uh, was the Dewar Renner, I guess we should say. Uh, but a lot of people showed up at Freestone for the Outdoor Nationals. A lot of people out here. River Valley's been a huge asset to the Nickerson family name. They've had Lynn Nickerson benefit ride days and raise cash while your father was going through times where he could not work and help out with cash flow and, and help him pay his bills and stuff. So this is this is by far is the biggest, the largest event I should say that, that I can see it that I've seen out here before. Your father's name. So, any last words you want to touch base on for all these families? Yeah. Well, I'm right now. you know, uh, that's that. It's, it's tough to tell somebody exactly how to how to go through their through their stuff. But uh, you know, the best thing is is, is you know if, if you're faithful and and, and you know, that definitely helps. I mean, that helped my dad through his. You know, his faith definitely help but when you have positive support from people that love you and care about you Dave and Liz have just been tremendous through all this and um, you know just I, 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 it's really it's really tough to do something that question I think it's kind of a case by case basis well, Lynn Nickerson, you know, say there's not a cloud in the sky, so it's safe to say your father's eyes are upon you and everyone out here. I'm Shane Garcia up here with Lynn Nickerson, Jr. Great to have you up here celebrating your father's name. All these motocross races here for you guys, for you and your family. And uh, he'll always be remembered, never forgotten. He is the voice of Texas motocross. Scott, why don't you fill us in real quick on your role out here for this third annual cancer, cancer race at River Valley. Okay, uh, I am the project director for the Cancer Assistance Fund of North Texas. So all the money that's raised by the Lux family in River Valley Motocross uh, is actually uh, put into a fund to help patients that need financial resources or patient assistance. We help guide them to programs to help them with all, all their financial needs. We also provide social services. We also provide uh, ancillary services like acupuncture, massage therapy, dietitians, uh, psychotherapy. Uh, we work very closely with the Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders when we do these things. So without Liz and the people that do things like River Valley Motocross, a lot of these patients all over North Texas couldn't otherwise afford their treatment. So essentially what they do is they help thousands of people get through the whole march of going through cancer and actually becoming survivors, both financially and physically. Scott, let me ask this. You have a where is, first off, where is the location? Are you here in the DFW area? Right, we're on Magnolia in downtown Fort Worth. Uh, that's where the Cancer uh, Assistance uh, Fund of North Texas is located. The Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders has actually eight different locations around North Texas, from Mineral Wells to Cleburne to Stephenville, Granbury, Fort Worth, Burleson, and now Arlington. So that's the kind of the area that we serve in North Texas. Kind of the west side of the metroplex, yeah. a lot of the western regions. Now, is there a website everybody can go to? Yes, it's thecentertx.com. Thecentertx.com. There we go, thecentertx.com. Scott, we appreciate all your efforts out here and thanking Liz and Dave Lux and for all your help. And uh, hopefully this brings a lot of awareness, a lot of money, a lot of funds to help out with what you guys are doing. It's amazing what you guys have done over the last three years. The contributions have been 
greater and greater every year. And from the looks of things, Liz called me yesterday and said, we're not opening the tracks. There's too for little kids because there's too much, too many campers out here parking. So the, out, the turnout here today is fantastic. And I thank you all. We all thank you. Cancer patients everywhere, thank you. There we go, Scott with the Cancer Research Foundation, Cancer Center, I should say, the Cancer Center. It's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. <laughs>